Hi friends, good evening and uh, this is your host Sankit joining you from Delhi, India and uh, we have Kimberly Calhoun joining us from uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Good morning Kim, good morning to the world and welcome to IBM TV Celeb Tuesday. And uh, we have a great lineup around the world, I can say, because we have people from Malaysia, from Nigeria, from US, from India. Uh, so a lot of people uh, joining us on uh, one of our Celeb Tuesday where we invite people around the world. and. Uh, Hi, Jim. Uh, uh, welcome, Marine. Welcome to the show. And uh, hi, Rakesh Ji. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I, I want to make a special announcement. Um, today, I'm wearing a T-shirt in memory of Sergeant Baker. He was uh, shot in the line of duty um, in, in uh, May 30th, 2018. I try to wear this shirt on the 30th of every month in memory and honor of all police officers who have fallen for us. One of the things about this particular uh, situation is that uh, he was killed by a offender of domestic violence. And uh, Nick is aware of this statistic as well, but um, it's, domestic violence is the most dangerous crime an officer is dispatched for. And people just don't realize how bad that crime is. It's 12 million female victims alone just in the US. Okay, that number is the same everywhere else. And that's just female victims, 24 million children victims and about 6 million male victims. That number has cr uh, climbed consistently and, and steeply uh, since COVID-19. But what I want to uh, express to people is, is that we've had another uh, officer fallen uh, to an offender of domestic violence uh, this week. Um, and I'm going to share her uh, photo here in a few minutes. But we need to understand the dangers and hazards that these men and women go out and do for us every day to make our community safe, right? They give us quality of life. Not every one of them are bad, like the media portrays the few who have done some wrong things and used their, their power excessively, right? If anyone who has power Sometimes they just do, they use their power wrong. And this happens in many places. I see Nick is beamed out and I hope he didn't beam out because I'm taking a political stand here. <laughs> I have a feeling he'll come in and back me up. Anyway, so what I want to do though is I want people to reflect today about how important the officers are hey, Nick, in our lives, right? That's the anchor's fault, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, hi, thank you. All right. Yeah, anyway, I want I want people to reflect on how important law enforcement is uh, to our society. That we need them. We don't need to be debunking their jobs or removing their paychecks. They're not all bad, right? Majority of them are really, really good people, and you know they they're not given the right tools to work with. Their budgets are cut continuously. And their budgets are cut while their lives are put out there at stake every day for you, tracking down the bad people who have guns and the bad people who have drugs. And they're not given the same leverage. Their guns are not as good as the bad people. Their guns are not supported with great bullets that shoot straight. And I'm saying this from experience working with police officers on, on many, many projects over the years. So I just want everyone to reflect today on how good police officers are. When you, if you see one today, thank them. <laughs> Maybe don't run up and hug them, but thank them yeah. and tell them um, that you appreciate what they do. And um, you know, because there's more of the good ones there than there are the bad ones. Well, Sergeant Baker died in the line of duty. Another officer, well, many officers die every day in the line of duty, but we need to um, respect them. I, you know, respect is different than, you know, bowing down and kissing up to them too. But if you're being arrested, get down, put your hands up. Don't do anything until, you know, just ask for a lawyer. Ask always for ask, lawyer. Always always ask, ask for a lawyer. lawyer. Always. The minute no, no, you're arrested. Number one rule that people make mistakes in the United States. The first States. thing out of your mouth is, is I want records. They, they should, should, should say, and they never do because they never take criminal procedure, is I would like to speak to an attorney before right. I say anything. Okay. Right. And that's that's it. Always no. do. Don't okay. Lie. In the meantime, you don't do don't anything. Argue. But, but we, we don't get trained in criminal procedure in high school. I don't know. Jim, did you take your criminal procedures course when you were in high school I in the United States? Class. I, I just uh, didn't uh, show up, I guess. 
Okay. Well, well, well I mean, and this is this is a deficiency of the American education system. We we do have what I call amateur constitutional scholars and amateur criminals out there. And what they really should do is take some really good courses in criminal law and criminal procedure in the United States. It's actually very interesting what you can do and you can't do and what the rules really are and what they aren't. But uh, we don't train anybody in well, that. And, and it, so the thing it, is, it's, uh, it's horrible. Sure. John Fanning shared this, that every criminal will uh, make seven mistakes in their crime and leave behind seven big, seven. Oh, well, maybe, 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 the, maybe see, the thing is, if they took criminal procedure courses and they started understanding the criminal, quote, justice, or some cases, injustice system, then maybe they would start looking at getting jobs on the other side of the, the veil. Which is actually, or maybe they'll just get better at their crime. Or they so get better at their crime. Get e e harder, right? e e either way, but the thing <laughs> is, they will certainly understand the system a lot better. Uh, same with the constitutional law. Now, we have a lot of lawyers in the United States. 1.6 million attorneys. We could easily offer, easily offer constitutional law and criminal law in the United States at high school, middle school, and elementary. School. We operate in the prisons. prisons I, I, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm just saying the thing is we, we could easily do this and have an educated public. I'd rather have an educated public than a bunch of ignoramuses that run around thinking they know about criminal law, criminal procedure, and how the system works. And that's what we have right now, you know, rather than people that actually do know and explain the system. But that's the deficiency in the United States. It drives people like Alexander Starr to live in Canada rather than Russia or the United States. And block, block U.S. citizens from coming yes. into the country. Yeah, block U.S. <laughs> citizens from coming. Rakesh living in Hong Kong. And Irene lives in the great country of Malaysia, right, Irene? Yes, yes. I'm here in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Oh, you're in Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia. Really? Yes, I'm in Kuala That's Lumpur. Right? Patronus Towers, right? Patronus yeah. Tower. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, they're well, famous well, for the iconic building. Yeah. Okay. Well, wow. we'll t tell us, what do you do in... Uh, in um, Malaysia, what do you do? Oh, okay. I am actually um, residing in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I'm a global beauty and uh, wellness entrepreneur and also a trainer for that. Oh, a trained acrobat? No. Uh, no, no, a trainer, trainer for, for that. Okay. Oh, yeah, for that. Okay. So okay. Yeah, for that. I know a trained acrobat. I'm going to get her on. But, um, oh. no, <laughs> no, I don't train that. No, she's not trained um, acrobat. My apologies. I, sometimes it's hard to hear on this side of the United States. Um, a pond. No problem. Mm -hmm. But um, so tell us a little bit about what you do in beauty and wellness. Okay, so um, before the lockdown, we all had, you know, the offline way, right? We call it here, whereby, you know, you will meet people, you give training in, uh, you know, seminar rooms, and a client comes to you, they want to get younger by 10 years, whether with beauty tools or with um, supplementation, with wellness, yeah? So I used to do it uh, offline, we call it, and now I'm doing it online globally. And we have 54 markets. So um, I give them uh, the idea of technology and the latest uh, beauty tips or wellness tips. And also if they want to be our franchisees. So uh, that's what I do every day. And uh, now it's 100% online. I work online, even though in Malaysia, we are partially open. They're partially open, but um, um, I feel very much more comfortable doing online now. Uh, it was just like a total switch in three months, but um, um, I'm just practicing that now. Yeah. So I actually represent an American public listed company. Um, so the products come from the United States <laughs> and I'm here in Malaysia because we, we also do have it here. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. we, we actually had the dean of Washburn University School of Law, and she looked like she was unbelievably young, amount of age. She wouldn't tell us her age, but uh, she must have found the fountain of youth. And um, I'm not sure if you could help her very much, but Jim needs a lot of help. Can you help Jim over there? I mean, uh, I need some help too. There's some beyond help. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, I mean, that's fantastic that she's looking really young. Yeah. You know, there is like, I always say there's one to 5% uh, God's given nature. They are the lucky ones. Yeah. And the rest, 95% uh, of us just have to do a, a little bit of work. Yeah. yeah. To keep ourselves healthy and young. Yeah. What's some so, tips of healthy and young that, okay. Cause like yeah. I'm stuck in COVID, so I can't go see my um, beauty and wellness, uh, what I call trainer or fitness maintenance. Um, okay. And, 
Um, my hair is looking like a mess, even though I kind of let it go naturally a lot. So I don't dry uh -huh. it out, but my eyes, they're okay. just not popping like they, you know, you know, the little things that we do, but I don't have my makeup artist right now. So give me some tips. Okay. And to make my <laughs> skin feel healthy, not good, but healthy. I see. Okay. Uh, actually, we are a voted number one uh, global home beauty spa. So because of the global lockdown, uh, everyone is looking uh, for a uh, remedy just like yours to have something like a beauty therapist coming right to your home, but not the physical person, but in terms of technology. So today, uh, can I just show you what we have? <laughs> so Absolutely. This is, yeah. So this is what we call a uh, Lumi Spa, but I, I like to nickname it Lumi Lumi. And this is actually for your treatment cleansing, giving you the radiance. Because, you know, like you say, staying at home, uh, you, you're just at home on the computer, maybe on your phone, 10 to 12 hours. So your entire skin gets stressed, in, inclusive of your eyes, because you're just looking at that, you know, that uh, camera. And we have another machine, which we call uh, H-Lock. Yeah, so H-Lock means locking your age. Uh, very simple, right? Yeah, and you actually have like a, a Botox treatment in a machine. Yeah, but in the natural way. So this is what I do. So whether I do, you know, um, a demonstration for people online or I train coaches to, um, you know, to share this technology in our 54 markets. Yeah. But and explain uh, how this works. That That is interesting. Explain that. <laughs> we talk about Botox on this show with one of the plastic <sighs> surgeons that comes on our show. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So um, I nicknamed this. Botox in the machine uh, because you know it gives the same effect like Botox but of course Botox will be immediate and this will take you like 7 to 14 days but in a natural way yeah. and just uh, by the way I am 53 this year and I just love this because you know I can just um, iron my wrinkles at home so most of us you, you do need to iron your clothes right but how about your skin so this is what I call a wrinkle iron and it actually uses a patented um, H lock galvanic technology. So it's not just galvanic, and this is approved in by FDA as a medical uh, tool in the United States as well. Yeah. Wow. So the FDA approved this. So again, yes. explain a little bit if, when you say Botox, because you know I know Botox have needles. What does it do? Does it uh -huh. just stimulate? Is it stimulating? Is it light? I mean, what does it do? Okay, maybe I can just just give a history of what galvanic is. So yes. uh, thanks to you guys out there waiting for us ladies to chat on this. But this is also meant for the guys as well. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually a, a galvanic came from, um, I think, 1950s from an Italian guy called Luigi Galvani. Yeah. So this is named after him because he found that actually, oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Okay. Sorry, there was a <laughs> no, something came no, up. No, don't okay. be sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so time okay, out. So okay, so just no more sorries because we all <laughs> okay, sure, know. sure. Move yeah. it over just a little bit more so it towards your face so we can see it. Uh -huh. I don't want to cover your face, but move it towards your face. Okay. No. Yeah. Move it. Wait, wait. Uh-huh. Can you can you see me? Move it just towards your face just a little bit. Towards my face? Okay. Yeah, there we go. There yeah. you go. Okay. Yeah, and turn yes. it around so we can see it. There okay, you go. That's so, perfect. Um, so this is named after this guy, Galvani. Yeah, so we call this Galvanic Machines, which we have it in all the beauty salons, in the major beauty salons in any part of the world. Uh, any beauty therapist will be trained on what is Galvanic Currents. So Galvanic Currents is actually current running in your body. So every one of us, we have a charge, yeah? So sometimes, you know, my daughter, my daughter, um, the first daughter is 29 and my second daughter is 26. Um, she has a tendency of a higher charge than normal people. So if she touch any like touch and go metal machines, it will actually zap her, yeah? But for me, I'm fine. So all of us have a different level of charge in the body. But if we go to a beauty therapist, that particle galvani is a standard charge um, According, according to the electric currents. But you know, our body is not a standard charge, right? So this is exclusive because this is a personalized charge. So what it does is at the back of here, it has a metal plate and I need to wet my hands to touch this because the charge will be derived from our body and back into our skin. 
Wow. So this is uh, one of its kind, yeah. So it has been voted, these two spas has been voted the number one um, home beauty spa device for anti-aging. Yeah, coming from the United States, from your home country. <laughs> you know, there, there's a lot to be said about maintenance, right? It, it, yes. just, it doesn't take much if you just do a little bit. My mother, um, when she passed away, the mm -hmm. mortician called me and they asked me for her beauty secret. Right. Because she was very mm -hmm. old, but not okay. one wrinkle on her skin, DNA, right? Not uh -huh. one wrinkle yes. on her skin, but she had one daily, well, two daily maintenance things that she did. She drank a lot mm -hmm. of water, a lot. And I'm not going to say what the second thing was because that's my secret. But um, <laughs> and I'm just that's important. Yeah. you know, after I sit here and I listen, because I feel like it's working for me too, because I'm, I'm mm -hmm. over way, way, way over 50, almost 60. I don't feel like I'm too mm. wrinkly right now, um, but I could yeah, always. You're looking you know. great. <laughs> well, one of the things I do is I hang upside down with ice on my face. You know how you say wrinkle uh, out the, you know, iron out the wrinkles. Ice contracts. Okay. It takes swelling out, and I don't put it on for like 30 minutes. You know, it's like 10 mm -hmm. minutes worth of ice packs, and um, and the, I've been doing that for three or four years, but um. But I just I, I love that the I um, the galvanic uh, current is yeah. very interesting to me. The Lumine is interesting. How does that work? I wrote it down. Okay, I'm, so, I'm researching <laughs> it. So keep going. You're searching it. Okay, so the Lumi. Okay, the Lumi is uh, one of its kind using a medical grade silicon. So the normal treatment cleansing devices right now in the market they use actually a bristles. So bristles is actually from plastic, which uh, breaks your collagen if you are using it. But while you're using it, you feel that it's very clean. But if you use a microscope and look on the skin, you have actually broken your collagen. So that is not good in the long run. But with this Lumi, yeah, it is made from medical grade silicon. So if you touch it, it's actually very soft. And it is embedded with silver ions. So it is uh, antibacteria. Immediately you use it wash it with water and it's done yeah so you don't have to fear that any bacteria or viruses get trapped within the brushes or bristles and this is totally clean and one thing very very interesting is because as we are cleaning the face this can help stimulate collagen production as well yeah mm -hmm. so it, it kind of like wake up your skin cells to like you know hey produce collagen in your youth days again so how does it do that so we have a patented technology called micro oscillation. So micro oscillation means a counter rotation. So this will go clockwise and the inner one will go anti-clockwise. So this is a, uh, the only one in the world having this kind of uh, engineering technology. That's why you can stimulate your skin to, you know, to wake up and uh, kind of rebuild your collagen like your youth again. Yeah. So I so. love the counterclockwise and clockwise uh, stimulation technique. That is mm -hmm. brilliant engineering. Also, there's I got yeah. another use for that tool. So after after the show, let's email. Um, maybe we can do something on the inventor scale of that. Um, and it's not sure. for the case, but um, <laughs> you know, the, but it can be used for anywhere. You know what? Here's the thing: people don't understand. Some of these things can be used on the body anywhere, right? This isn't just. This is sure. good for face. But you can use mm -hmm. these on the body in different places. One of the places we age, and a lot of people don't pay attention to it, but my mom told me mm -hmm. to be careful, mm -hmm. is our necks. Yeah. Our neck yeah. is yeah. the biggest telltale sign. You see, it, it, it will start like getting these lines in them. And one of the things I learned is, is I do this little massage technique during the day oh, and okay. it out, right? I just, uh -huh. it's not like pulling. I just push down and relax uh -huh. the muscles until it just uh -huh. looks smooth again. Ah, uh, okay. So, because this is a telltale sign of aging. Also, this is where you'll get wrinkled because we stop putting uh -huh. our lotion here normally, uh -huh. unless you're, unless you're experienced, right? But true, you, true. you would probably put it, but, um, but a lot of people, they don't think about taking care of the rest of their body. They stop here mm -hmm. or here. That's yes. why beauticians like her are good. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this is where I learn all of these things. I learned them <laughs> from women like her. Well, um, I, uh, I mean, you talk this. about your transition from offline to online. And I uh -huh. face the same kind of transition 
because I have a face made for radio and now I'm transitioning to television. So all of these tips are just so useful for me because I have this line that I call a concentration line because I was a chess player and I was always Uh, on the board concentrating and reading. mm -hmm. When I read, I concentrate. And so now Mm -hmm. I've got this line here. Do you think that either the Lemmy device or the other would help with that? Okay. Uh, very good question. Yes. Yeah. So uh, over here we have um, what we this this is a multifunction um, spa machine. Yeah. So you can actually take it off. Yeah. Take it off. And for that we have another head called the spot head. Yeah. The spot head. You just attach it in. And we have a serum. We have a serum which you can apply on it. And it is a peptide collagen. So if you're talking about collagen, collagen is a protein. So the molecule is very huge and it will be very difficult to get absorbed into your pores. So if you're looking for something to have a remedy for any dent or scar or a line, then you would like to uh, look for peptide collagen. So we have a peptide collagen which is charged. So when you apply here and you need to go 90 degrees with the line. So if the line is this way, you have to go this way. Right. And if the line is this way, you have to go this way. 90 degrees, yeah. So this is also charged and the um, gel, the serum is also charged. So just like magnet, just like magnet, if you have the same charge, then we can actually uh, repel the uh, serum or the collagen uh, serum right into your dermis layer. That's actually where your fibroblast is that produces collagen. Yeah, so this will enhance your skin uh, producing collagen again. And once it's uh, being produced, then the entire dent will just, you know, smoothen out. Yeah, so so unique, right? It's like a miracle spa. <laughs> yeah. It is. It is. That, that is really cool. There's hope for yes, me. Yes. <laughs> yes, there's hope for you. Yeah. Even you have some beard, right, Jim? You can yeah. also use this trancing, uh, treatment cleansing device, this Lumi, because it doesn't get entangled with your beard, and you can have a very shining beard as you speak on TV. <laughs> and, and Kate, how do you get seven people on? We can only do six. What do you do? We have, we have upgraded the system. You have a new system? Upgraded the StreamYard uh, app. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, because all of a sudden I see seven people here. But I, I did my reviews, okay, and here's the results. It actually is okay. a safe, effective way to actually reduce is she, what she's saying is true. Go. Okay, and the thing is, it can actually even help Jim in one session. So it's um, it's uh, <laughs> unbelievable um, how hot this product is. Can you guide us through your spa? Help us. Help okay, us okay. Go. So n- now after doing my reviews, I would say I'm a believer. So how do people buy this thing? How, I mean, help us help I, you. I've never seen, never seen that. So how, can you buy this? Um, how, how do you, yeah, how do you, uh, how get do we buy this through yeah. you? Because we okay. want you to get credit for this. Right. Yeah. So I need to send you the link, yeah, whereby you can purchase it from your country because, like I said, we are in 54 countries. So you just send me an email uh, and let me know where you are from or you can send me a text, yeah. And uh, I will send you the link where you purchase it from and it will be sent to you from the warehouse of your respective countries. But okay. unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. we are not yet in India. We are very huge in China, well, Japan, and, and, and Korea. India doesn't even have <laughs> India doesn't have representation in Epcot. We are working on that. I but, should have never told you. You know, <laughs> but, um, I, I really, you know, according <laughs> to the reviews, doesn't need it. Uh huh. Jim, Jim, there's no downside and only upside on this product. Okay, so yeah. I mean, the worst case scenario is. You'll look better. I mean, that's kind of like the worst it's case. A so <laughs> it's a yeah, thing that's almost like you can't lose yeah. product. So it really yeah. only involves is how much does if it you cost. Can you can fix this. I think it, I think uh-huh. it can. I, th- I think we can, we can transform it. Nick, uh, Nick yeah. I'll tell you something that uh, Irene would be interested to be a part of IBM TV and she would uh, run a show. And yeah. uh, we can create for sales. Uh, I, I, for IBM, IBM TV I, okay. Well. I, honestly, yeah. I never, I never heard of the product till today, oh, and then I started. Okay. No, I never heard of it. You know, but again, I don't see all these. But I, but I did yeah. my review very quickly through the internet. Okay, because I search all wow, these wonderful. sites, reviews, and stuff like that. <laughs> and it all looks of like so fast. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, of course, you know. Irene, do you need a before and after model? 
Oh, no, they have plenty of them on the internet. I mean, seriously. <laughs> so we, so we, we, have, we could have Jim be our test case. So we Jim could do our IBM TV chess case. We, we, so maybe yeah. a, a before model uh, I can play and uh, Jim can play the after model. <laughs> sure, sure. But the good news for Ankit, good news for Ankit and those listening from India, we uh, India and Brazil will be, will be our next market. Yeah, so it's going to be a huge market for us. And well, for, and you know, people there too. I will too. go through Ankit because he's, he has got 1.3 billion fans. Yeah, yeah. he's got 1.3 <laughs> billion followers over there. So, and, you know, uh, so I would go that. through Ankit, but also um, Ankit is in business. He's an entrepreneur. And we do, oh. um, we're doing some other things with Ankit um, and IBM TV are all part, you know, well, he's part of IBM TV, but we're, we're doing other projects into India. I so see. I would talk mm -hmm. to Ankit about that, but also let's let's uh, get this marketed out there. Maybe yeah. you have a discount code you can give people who are watching IBM TV. Sure. But let's let's talk about no, it's, it's okay. great, it. It looks like it's a great product. Unlike I mean, Botox, it's time for a, maybe it's time for a Zoom call after the show. Yeah, Bo Botox <laughs> has downside, uh, Ankit. This has yeah. no downside. Okay, so, so yeah. this is like this is like, natural and organic. Yeah, and yeah, the, it's the current actually does all this stuff does exist. It does mm -hmm. work at least according to the studies. Okay, it can even mm -hmm. help you on one application, which is kind of unreal, similar to Botox, yeah. but it doesn't have the downside of Botox. So, like I said, mm -hmm. you only have upside, you know, and well, no let's downside. Talk about how much it's a it is? Hot product. Yeah, how much does this thing cost? Okay. Yeah, so for the Lumi, uh, okay, I need a quote in US dollar, but in Malaysia, let me just, uh, you know, convert. Uh, this should be about a three, about the 200 over US dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 200 over US dollar. So it's uh -huh. very reasonable for a number one, you know, treatment sure. cleansing device. Right. Yeah. And, and can, this uh, wallet. Well, well, also it does something also very important that she mentioned that a lot of viewers may not know. It it uh -huh. because according to the studies, they say that you want to measure it specifically for yourself, and apparently that uh -huh. product does that, uh, Irene. Uh -huh. So it seems to me as that you have a very good product, a hot product. I, I'm I I think we could sell millions of these over the internet. How much is we it? already <laughs> have in I the United States. Wait, uh, let me I hear which one. How much? Go ahead. Galvanic. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Galvanic should be costing about like three to four hundred US dollar. Okay. I need to get the exact uh, price for you when you email me. So the the pr the prices are really reasonable <coughs> because we are the sole manufacturer. So oh, we are not wow. sourcing. Yeah, wow, we are not sourcing so from another company where you get you know uh, how they say the profits are being a double by those companies. So mm -hmm. you're getting direct from the manufacturer. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, so, so do, you, do you have manufacturing here in the United States? So the things yes, the we, US can buy it? Yeah, we have it in the United States. How about Hong Kong where Rakesh is at? Can he buy it in Hong Kong? Uh, yes, we do have it in Hong Kong as well because we ship it from United States to Hong Kong. Okay. And we have the warehouse located there for the logistics of Hong Kong. So okay. you don't have to send from United States to there or Australia or Singapore. We have all these stocks and uh, logistics handling all that for you. Okay. And you yeah. have, you have uh, Canada? Uh, Canada also, where yeah. Alexander yes, is? Yes, we are in Canada as well. Okay, the U.S. Yeah. where Jim is, but nothing for Ankit. I don't uh, need Ankit it. Is I'll ship it <laughs> No, but, but, but for Ankit, Ankit, he has a very good opportunity because, you know, uh, India is the most populous country. It's very fertile country, yeah? And uh, it's a new virgin market when we launch it. So he's, you know, going to be the pioneer there yes. yeah. eventually. Right. Right. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll okay. help Ankit become the pioneer of this. Well, how long would this last me though? If I I shell out a few hundred dollars for this and I apply okay. it, and it stops working in a week. I'm not going to be very happy. How long do you think? It would okay. Last? Okay, so um, that's a, that's a very good question. So when you use the um, peptide collagen, and if you want it to be um, have a very fast result, yes, use it in seven days to fourteen days. Yeah. But when you have gotten it really smoothened, yeah, it will age according to the skin age of your new skin. So let's say if you have gotten your new skin to like like 40 years old or 45 years old, then your new skin that is enhanced with collagen will be aging at that age rather than your own a biological age. So you said you were 35? Did I hear that correctly? 33. No, I'm 53. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm 53. 5'3". Yeah. 25? I was born yesterday. 
<laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> so let's talk about that. That okay? So he mm -hmm. would say, use it every day, or we would use it every day until we got yeah. it to where we want our skin, sure. and then we do a yeah. maintenance of once a week, maybe or. Yeah. Um, Okay, once a week. And the products themselves, they will last maybe a year, two years. Do you how often do you have to replace parts? Are there parts that have to be replaced? Okay. Gels? So um for here, for this machine, actually it's warranted for two years. Yeah, mm -hmm. you only replace the uh, collagen serum. <clears throat> yeah. So the collagen serum, depending on your face, how many wrinkles you have and how often you use it, that's how when you replenish it. But as of the machine, uh, this machine actually lasts me like for five years. Yeah, so it is really a good buy. Uh, but we actually warranty for two years. And if any technical fault, uh, we will actually replace it with a brand new machine. We don't even repair for you. It's better than iPhone, right? <laughs> I hope there's no Apple representative here. here. So, so yeah. I, I have a question for you. So suppose if Jim buys at the age of 50, and after uh -huh. five years, he will still remain at the uh, 50 years of age? At the biological age, uh, after using the machine, uh, that is not possible unless he's using it wrongly. <laughs> so I got to check on him. Hey, hey, yeah. hey listen, it helps you be younger. It doesn't do miracles. I mean, you yeah, know, yeah. Jim is going to be our miracle <laughs> test case. I mean, seriously. So the thing is, uh, we're just gonna, Jim. You're just going yeah, to test it on Jim. We're going to test it on Jim. I'm so yeah, excited. I yeah. can't tell you. No, I mean the thing uh, is, uh, yeah. he does too much television now. You know, now, so I, I used uh, to be on radio all the time. Now I'm on TV. It's just not a transformation yeah. I was ready for. Yeah. Plus, he's the author <laughs> author of yeah. Chest for Dummies. Oh. You know? oh. Don't okay. worry, Jim. I'll be your personal. I'll be your personal. Uh, you know, a uh, personal therapist. <laughs> I, I, I think he does need some personal consulting. Yes. Therapy. therapy of all kinds. Yeah, he needs therapy okay. of all kinds, twenty four seven. So uh, <laughs> you know, we're we're here. Part of our mission in IBM TV is to help Jim. Okay, it's like a, almost a. Well, these Saint Jude <laughs> causes for people who don't know Saint Jude. Saint yeah. Jude is the patron of lost causes. Okay, so what yeah. we're doing is a, she's uh -huh. a well, their first mission is the easy one. They're they're trying to make everyone financially fit, and yeah. uh, the second mission is much more difficult, and that's yeah. to make me fit. But that's that, that, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, we do have a mission to make you right? fit, right? <laughs> You know, so, um, so, so yeah, no, I, I think this is a great product, uh, Irene. And I think, think that people can, for the men who won't buy it because we're too vain. You think women are vain? We are. Look at the guy who won't wear a mask. Mm. <laughs> well, the thing that people but, don't understand is, is that people do buy these products. And do okay. Use yeah, well, well, you, okay, here's the deal. You buy it for your wife and you use it for yourself. Exactly. You, you know, say, here, here, honey, this is your birthday gift. Just a second. You know, that's yeah, why they get off the couch. couch. <laughs> that's why they do at home shopping. Now, wait. Yeah. And if you buy now, you get two. Yeah. <laughs> two for the price of one. Yeah, one more <laughs> on it because they'll get one for themselves and their wife won't know about uh, it. Now, yeah. here, honey, here's a gift for you. Here's here's a box. Well, I, I just wanted to check the product out, Kim, to make sure it was a good product. And it is. Um, due diligence. Take a look at it. So, uh, Nick, no one thing outside. you didn't do is look at the price comparison of Botox treatments. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Botox are yeah. generally about every six months, right? right. Three to six months, yeah. depending on how you do it. Mm -hmm. But Botox treatments can, and then if you do fillers, right? So if you do Botox mm -hmm. and then fillers, like what we were talking about with the plastic surgeons, um, mm -hmm. that can get a, in excess of three to $4,000 a year. Sure. So sure. Um, when yeah. you're looking at, and I don't know, how much is the serum or the gel that you sell, the, the collagen, how much is that that comes with it? Because you have to buy that. Um, yeah, it will cost about uh, 50 to 80 US dollar, just that. How much yeah. do you get per bottle? Um, you get about, um, it's about 30 ml. Okay, so the, how many uses is that? Just to give these guys an idea. Ah, uh, okay. So let's say if you have intensive wrinkles that you want to, you know, rectify, so you probably use like, you know, two to four weeks for a bottle. Okay. So it's between 50 to 80 US dollar. I need to convert. <laughs> I'm so used right. to bring it Malaysia. Yeah. But it is very reasonable as compared to treatments that you get from, exactly. you know, medical doctors and things like that. And the best thing is, I think you get your natural beauty or your natural good lookingness back. 
not an right. artificial look. Mm-hmm. And you won't yes, be you, uh, you don't want to be, you know, stiff yeah. smiling at the TV, right, Jim? No, no, <laughs> you no. want to have your natural look. Right. Yeah. Or or yeah. someone so else's natural look. Say you spend <laughs> so say you spend fifty dollars a month on your collagen, maybe a little more, even a hundred dollars a month, but still mm-hmm. you're coming in um and then you pay for the, the devices, right? The devices will last you three to five years. You're coming in um, around, you know, close to eight hundred dollars a year for for three to five years if you spread out the cost, versus you know three to four thousand dollars a year. And I'm not putting plastic surgeons down; they do a marvelous job when they do work. They they are artists as well. But this is natural. Um, again, when you destroy your body, it took time to get there, so it takes time to heal it, right? So don't expect yeah. things overnight. Don't go, oh, I did it. Where's my, you, you got to work at it. It's just like me wanting to rebuild mm-hmm. my energy. I started taking mm-hmm. uh, nitric oxide and well, beetroot. Mm-hmm. It took three weeks, mm-hmm. four weeks before mm-hmm. I felt the difference. So don't expect uh, it overnight. And um, yeah, true. Well, this is exciting. <laughs> I love makeup things like this. I mean, well, it's not makeup, but I love uh, beauty aids. Like well, that. Yes, and, yes. My, and my salary, I can't afford the beauty aids that Kimberly can afford. So uh, this sounds like <laughs> more in my price range. I can't afford it. This is what I'm telling people. I just know the prices for a reason. I'm like yeah. Nick. Yeah. I love to understand the price comparisons of everything. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times yeah. when somebody says I need to do something, I go research it. And I learn. Mm-hmm. I learn things mm-hmm. like how often do I have to do it? How, you know, how, what do I need to do? How many times do I have to reorder something? Because I want to know the breakdown of the cost before I I step into it. Because once you start these things, it's hard to stop. It's just like doing it, right? Once you get a good hairdresser and you start, you want to maintain that look and it's very hard to stop. So um, I've just gotten used to beard trimming. Uh You know, that was beard trimming was the big change for me. So now I'm going to have to get used to doing something else regularly. <laughs> this is a big challenge. Good, good. It's like brushing yeah, your teeth. Yeah. It's like brushing your teeth, right? Yeah, you like go. when yeah. you said that you bought teeth whitener, you just get in that habit. It's it's just uh, unfortunately everything adds a few minutes extra to your day. So yeah. you need to just learn how to compart, you know, put it all together and just do a little routine every day. Yeah. Um, but once you get it down to once a week, I'll tell you what, it's harder to remember. And it's easier to get out of habit than an everyday maintenance. So everyday maintenance, you wake up, you just do it every day. Once a week maintenance, it's easy to forget. That's and, my experience. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. True, true. So, I, I like, uh, can I just add, I like, you know, this uh, terminology of the Japanese people, which they actually adopt into their culture during the World War II. They call it Kaizen, Jim. So Kaizen actually means to continuous improve. So, you know, day by day, yeah. So if, if let's say uh, it's very simple, let's say a person who don't exercise and you want to you know get them to exercise. So sometimes I even tell them, you just do one crunch. You don't <laughs> have to do 10 crunches or 30, just one. <laughs> just the, and, and, and that what that is what Kaizen means. And uh, I, I apply that into my, uh, my life for anything. It can be for happiness, for wealth, for love, anything. Just one step more, just one. Yeah, right. you don't have to go 10 steps or 30 steps. So the same thing for this kind of routine, yeah. Um, so just do one time if you if you can't do every day and then just, you know, improve along the way. That's all. I yeah, really agree yeah. With that. Yes. I I, and, I agree. I think it's um it's just once you get the discipline and a little bit every day. I have this book that I I live by especially when I start to get out of shape and get out of habits and it's called 8 minutes a day. Right. It's under yeah. 10 minutes a day and it really works. Like you said, True. just one crunch a day. Well, this yeah. I kind of incorporated this. I do 10 of each. Right. I do 10 reps of everything mm-hmm. every day. And, every, and then in two to three weeks, I add a rep and every, you know, yeah. and then every week I add a rep until I'm probably yeah. doing 30 minutes a day. Yeah. But it's just getting into that routine and discipline. And when you do that, you get in shape. And I have to insult yeah. myself and shave myself going, come on, Kim, it's only eight minutes, right? Yeah. But yeah. beauty is the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. You you want to incorporate just these little things to stimulate um, mm-hmm. the natural beauty. It's easy to get yeah. out of that habit, though. And um, yeah. 
Well, Nick did touch on another subject that maybe you can help me with because men do have this uh, built-in vanity that I don't <laughs> need. Makeup. I don't need. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. uh, so what would you tell a guy like me who's uh, really macho? <laughs> I, I don't think uh, it's, uh, yeah, so if you consider makeup, yeah, there's a wide range for beauty, right? Personal care, makeup, and many, many divisions, subdivisions, yeah. But for the men, I won't say it's uh, makeup, I would say it's hygiene. Yeah, so you want to have a clean, shaven face. You want to be macho, but you want to be clean still, right? Yeah, so like treatment cleansing device, it comes as a cleanliness tool. And, um, and today, um, you can see all the movie stars and all that. They look macho, but they don't want to have, you know, the face um, like a crease shirt. Yeah. Right. They still want a very tight, firm shirt on. Yeah. So this does not disturb their masculine, uh, how to say, uh, um, uh, being for the men. Yeah. yeah. So I think the times have changed. So people want right. to see a very clean, shaven, firm skin being macho as well. Yeah, this is kind of a baby boomer generation mindset because the young people I see today are not caught up with all of that. Um, but it is yeah. definitely a factor for people at my age, my age group, mm -hmm. um, because mm -hmm. we, we just weren't trained to do those th types of things. And I think the yeah. younger people already get it. So you're uh -huh. only going to be pitching to the older crowd. But, uh, you, you know, that hygiene makes a lot of sense to me. That gets past all of that machismo. Yeah. True. So, you know, pitching with the older crowd and pitching with the younger crowd, yes, it's a different angle that I have to come to so okay. that they are more, uh, how do you say, receptive to the idea of their own respective preferences. Right. Right. Okay. No, I, I can't, I just can't oh. compliment you enough. You're really doing something that's really uh, significant oh. and it's overcoming <laughs> a lot. Welcome. Of, uh, yeah. Well, you know, I think that, you know, for the, for the, Females, it's probably you're selling to somebody who's already a willing buyer, but to also get mm -hmm. into males, this is quite an accomplishment and quite an achievement. So. Thank you, thank you. You know, in the Chinese saying, yeah, uh, as I'm a Chinese myself, yeah, there's a saying that goes, yeah, there is no ugly women, it's only lazy women. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there's maybe you should compliment this. Men. Yeah, There's you should yeah, subtly say this to your wife, subtly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, do you, do you sell a lot of these products right now in the United States? Uh, yes, we do. Yeah, yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, but I'm more concentrated here, but I'm moving towards the United States market as well because um, there's a lot of Indian origin living in the United States, and I'm preparing that market for India. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, because I, I would think yeah. that the U.S. would be a very big market because we yes, are the world's largest economy, at least uh, maybe not the world's <laughs> largest democracy. That uh -huh. is the end kit, but we, we still are the world's largest economy, and people do buy a lot of health and beauty products here. So mm -hmm. um, first time I've seen this. Do you have this thing in India? Do men, do men <laughs> have this aversion to uh, making themselves look better or... Can you tell me about India and the and, and to me? No, and no, no, the and kit. He's he's an and Indian. Okay. New Delhi. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of beauty products in India, but also there are a lot of natural ways uh, which uh, uh, women use to take care of uh, their beauty and uh, skin. But nowadays, uh, you know, we have all kinds of uh, Botox and other therapies as well. So it, it's a mixture of everything based on what is uh, good for your uh, yeah. skin and health. That's what. And a lot of women they also go out. Uh, outside India as well to take care of their, uh, I mean, surgeries and things like that. But I think uh, what important in India in terms of the salads is that they do a lot of uh, uh, surgery with the nose and with the lips and things like that to make sure that they, they mm -hmm. look good on media. So that's more for the media uh, uh, oh, people. Yeah. But I was asking about the men. Men is just like a shave and just uh, take care of uh, general things. It's the same. They're the, yeah. apparently the same. Yeah, but there are people, but there are people who can, who can I add a they comment? Have, they, have, they, have, they have and all those things. So they spend a lot of money in their beauty. But for me, it's it's just a good cream and a good shaving. That's it. There, there we go. That, that's it. But 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 Ankit's only twenty seven. Wait, so you, wait till you get to be my age. I think. Oh, Nick, there I'm, you uh, go. Uh, yeah. Nick, I'm twenty four. <laughs> 34. 34. Wow. He's the young guy that has all the energy. Young guy. Right. Yeah, I've been, 
Uh, 27. I've been a, a couple of times, quite, uh, I think, uh, 20 over trips to India, to uh, Chennai, Bangalore, and Delhi. And uh, in fact, um, of course, uh, India has a very vast population and there are people like Ankit and there are people like, you know, the other version. Yeah. So we have actually have, because of the population is so huge. Yeah. So there is still a very huge market that, you know, really uses things like this or inclined towards this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and the worldwide, there's an absolutely huge market because yes, yes. over 7.8 billion people, and IBM TV uh -huh. does broadcast into about 100 countries right now. Uh, and speaking okay. of which, we have some other people that are potential buyers. Oh, here they are. That's uh, Dylan and Zach. Hey. Hey, Dylan and Hello. Zach. How are you guys doing? Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah. So hi, Dylan. Uh, hi, Dylan. So what, what city are you guys in? Zach. I'm just meeting Zach. There hi, you are. Zach. Hello, everybody. Okay. I'm Zach. Okay, Zach and Dylan. Oh, what city are you Zach. guys out of? What city? Um, city and country. Based, we're based out of Boulder, Colorado in the Boulder, USA. Colorado, USA. Ah, okay, Colorado. they're from Boulder, Colorado. This is IBM TV, just to do the brief introduction. Of course, we have Ankit uh, from uh, IBM TV in New Delhi. Irene is in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, Jim Mead is in the Socialist Republic of Silicon Valley. Uh, Kim is in the Raleigh-Durham area, and Dylan and Zach are in the Socialist Republic of Boulder, Colorado. It's the Rocky Mountain High that they have. Rocky Mountain. You know, so, and we were talking to Irene about a product, uh, and, and can you just briefly describe again the product that you have, Irene? It's pretty exciting, uh, okay. uh, and maybe Zach and Dylan know it some about first I've heard of it, so explain the product to, to um Dylan and uh, Zach. Okay, so I, I am in the beauty and wellness um, industry, and we have this, what we call Lumi Spa. This is a treatment cleansing device, and is actually voted as the number one home spa device globally, inclusive of this. And this will be an anti-aging spa. Yeah, so if you want anti-aging, lifting, or ironing up your skin, so this will be it. So the, right now, we are actually dominating, um, I think, 25% of the global spas that are being sold. Uh, we have actually 25% market share. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's actually, have you guys heard of it, uh, Dylan and Zach? It's galactic <laughs> energy. It's basically like Botox. With, and I just did a brief research. It's like Botox, but has none of the downsides of Botox right. on your skin. Have you two guys even heard of this thing? Galactic energy I've heard of. Uh, right. it, it sounds familiar, but I'm not trying to look younger. So uh, I'm trying to <laughs> age up, if anything. Um, <laughs> no, it's like Dylan, okay. Dylan's into that. Yeah, yeah I'm turning 30. Uh, that, that'll <laughs> change in about 30 or 40 years, but that's No, these fun. guys are too young for it. But We're Zach, too young. Have a, <laughs> Zach, no, Zach, in fact, no, no, in fact, um, since, uh, Zach, you have beard, right? Just like Jim, yeah? yeah? Uh, I'm actually locating the beard club in all over the world. Uh, every country, they have the beard, uh, beard club and things like that, like BMW club and things like yeah. that. And this would be very good. Like I was talking to Jim as a treatment cleansing device because, you know, beard actually has the highest amount of bacteria on your face oh, and yeah. you like to get it really clean. And this is not from Bristol, so it doesn't entangle your beard into the machine, unlike those uh, machines out there. Yeah, oh. so it's very good for your cleanliness. Yeah. So for this, so it's not just for the face; it's for the hair too. Yeah. But it yeah. also, it's especially if you if you migrate if you migrate from podcasting to pod TV. Okay, yeah. it's especially a whole, now, whole, whole uh, different uh, cat. With the mask thing, that'd be great to you know clean this guy off every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm loving your background. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background, guys. Oh, well, this is actually my living room. Uh, I'm a, a media ah. hoarder. So I have a, I, yeah, I, I collect a lot of uh, interesting media <laughs> memorabilia and uh, obviously VHS tapes. <laughs> <Love those. laughs> That's a kid's dream. Oh my gosh. I have a closet where <laughs> and all the kids, when they come to visit, go straight to that closet. So, oh, yeah. And, and some adults too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan hangs out over here. Oh, yeah. Hey, notice, I think I see Darth Vader up there. Do I see Darth Vader? Uh, that's actually Kylo Ren. Um, oh, Kylo, okay. There's a Darth Vader around here many, sure many, many places, here. yeah. I, I joke with everyone, with COVID, we're going to have to have our new attire look like Darth Vader. I think science fiction was writing our clothing for the 
our future and our needs, oh, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. the, the mask and the outer clothing yeah. and, um, we need yeah. six foot lightsabers. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I have a question for I mean, uh, from one of our viewers uh, in Australia, and they would like to know that uh, is the skincare, whatever you were saying, is it only for the face or you have uh, something for the body as well? For hands or for legs and for uh, neck, maybe? Okay, we actually cover the entire body, yeah, from head to toe, yeah. So whether it's from the hair, anti aging of the hair, anti aging of the face, the body skin, your your feet, your nails, everything. We cover everything. Yeah. And, and do you have any specific products for uh, pollution, uh, polluted cities? Because India is one of the pol- polluted uh, uh, <laughs> country in, in the world. And because of pollution, we have a lot of uh, problems with face and with the uh, hairs and all. So yeah. do you have anything for pollution uh, based products? Uh, this is a fantastic question because we are right now uh, coming up with bioadaptive ingredients. And bioadaptive actually means that, you know, these ingredients, once you use it on your face, it will have a resistance towards pollution, towards extreme heat, towards extreme cold, and even to, towards the extreme stress that your body is facing. Yeah, so it's one of its kind in the world, uh, skincare, that no company has done. So we call this bioadaptive ingredients. And we actually um, have, a, how to say, a, a manufacturing um, plant in U.S., inclusive of our own uh, grow with technology for um, the plants itself so we grow our own raw material for okay. all these ingredients yeah so uh, the plants that we grow for this uh, skincare materials uh, or raw, raw ingredients they are actually grown just on five percent water we don't grow it on any soil or even using any fertilizer yeah so with this combination of uh, uh, farming, uh, in-house farming, and the bioadaptive ingredients, I think it would be just perfect for markets like India and China and Jakarta, places like that too. Silicon Valley. Yeah, Silicon Valley, yeah. where they get a lot of smog. Uh, Zach, Zach and uh, uh, Dylan, tell us a little bit about um, what you guys do in uh, the great uh, country of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, <laughs> well, you, yeah, we um, we pretty much just try to 